Monica Holloway is a critically acclaimed author, speaker, and activist. She is also an autism mom. Her son, Wills, was diagnosed with autism at the age of three. Now, at the age of 15, Wills is a high school freshman attending a mainstream school. I'm in a brand new school. I'm in a great school that I love, and I'm really happy there. I made friends pretty quickly on the first day, uh -huh. and something interesting happened to me on the first day. Tell me. We were doing a art project with um, fabric markers, and there was a little label on it that said, squeeze for best results. Okay. And so I squeezed it and exploded. <laughs> all over the people at my table. Oh no! They were all covered in little blue dots. I asked Wills, how he describes autism to people. I say that I have Asperger's syndrome, which is a slight form of autism. It doesn't make you any different. It really doesn't. It's just, it's just there and it just kind of makes you who you are. I asked Wills what he thought of the Sandy Hook shooter's actions being linked to autism. Please, please just don't, don't be scared of autism. If, you, if somebody has autism, don't be scared of them. Chances are they're not violent. They're just like you or me. Monica is a proud mom with good cause. I asked her to describe Wills in five words. Generous, curious, funny, sensitive, loving. We had a chance to talk about the Sandy Hook massacre and how Monica heard the news. On Friday, when it happened, when the shooting happened in Connecticut, I was in my car, and uh, my husband Michael called to tell me what had happened, and I was in a state of shock, as I think we all were, but that many children, and I felt, I guess, a mind can't take in that kind of information uh, without feeling nauseous. I, I felt it go from here all the way down my body. I started calling everybody I knew to tell them I loved them and um, I was thinking about them and I just wanted to be with the people that I knew. I started hearing more and more um, information come on the news about this shooter having Asperger's or being autistic. And then I started hearing things about, um, well, does autism cause violence? And I started, to, I was in a whole other level of shock. Never in a million years would I think that somebody might associate us and my son's face with the face of violence just because he has Asperger's. And I've seen bad days and good days and that's what kills me is like there was not a day bad enough to ever make me think that he or any of his friends could ever be violent. The only thing that made me even feel a little bit better to do something to help educate and so we've started a campaign on my Facebook page Cowboy and Wills it's called I am the face of autism and please post a picture of yourself it can be your child your friend with autism let's put these beautiful faces of these people with autism on to wipe out the face of this murderer let's put our faces in front of his 